quando aparece o número que é gira, que é gira está filmado. Quando ele... Let's check out the Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Our $20 trick here at the Monte Carlo has gotten us a better strip view, but unfortunately due to the reservations on hand, um, it's gotten us a better view at a very high upper level with a nice little television. We got a little coffee maker here. And check out this view. Got the MGM here. And we pan this way. We got the towers. Check out that view, huh? Not bad. This is the once again the Monte Carlo. Our twenty dollar trick. Did not upgrade us to the room I expected, but that's okay. We still have a beautiful view. And so here's our view during the daytime. We have the uh, Las Vegas International Airport in the distance behind MGM there. We have MGM shopping down there. We pan over here. We got the towers. And we got over here the brand new Hilton. Grand Vacations over here, and then this large office building here, and then area is right over here to our left, which you can't really see, but we got a pretty good strip view. So doing a little bit of research, um, looks like at the Monte Carlo, the $20 trick will get you upgraded to a higher floor strip view. Um, few folks have reported uh, complimentary buffets. My booking um, on Expedia already got the complimentary buffet, so I didn't get another one. Some people report a free fridge delivered to their room. Um, and again, uh, no folks report um, upgraded to a suite. They say that suites are unavailable, so they must be kind of sticklers at the uh, Monte Carlo. But uh, folks that actually have tried the $20 trick with a $50 bill and got their resort fee comped. Um, including um, buffet coupons, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, here we go with the MGM. Here's the MGM Suite Villas right here. Those are really nice. Here's a quick shot of sunset here out of our room. Okay, again, this is the $20 trick, and I'll be going to the Monte Carlo and doing the $20 trick. And so again, this is what you do for security purposes. I'm going to use a Pet Boys rewards card and a Toys R Us reward card. So what you do is you fold up the $20 bill like this. And this one is going to be the driver's license. This is going to be your credit card. Hotels always ask for this. Driver's license, credit card. For security purposes, again, driver's license, credit card. Okay. So what you do is you sandwich the 20 I like to put it face up like this so that they know what they're getting. Take your driver's license, set it on top. Okay, you sandwich it. It's called the sandwich. Okay, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this on the back. It's in the middle. You hand it to her uh, or him upon checking in. Um, they say, uh, Can I see your driver's license credit card? You hand it to him like this. Driver's license is going to be up. You hand it to him, and as you hand it to him, you say, do you happen to have any complimentary upgrades? And as they receive it, they always separate it because they need to see your license and your thing separately. So as they separate it, of course they see the 20 right off the bat. They always put the 20 next to them on the side, and then they put your driver's license and credit card up on the uh, computer screen and then they'll type away and hope for the best. Real quickly to end this uh, video, um, upon checking in, I used a 20 on the Monte Carlo and we got upgraded, you know, you saw the room. Um, there were accounts of people um, replacing the 20 with a 50 and doing a $50 sandwich and they got the same thing. Same room, but they got an upgraded uh, refrigerator, um, whatnot, um, and they got the resort fee um, comped. I said that in the movie as well. But upon checking out, I wanted to see if I could tip an additional $10 
and get my two nights worth of resort fees um, comped. Well, upon checking out, I went to a guy. He was very nice. I think he was new. Um, I put $10 right on the table in front of him, didn't try to hide it, put $10 in front of him and said, hey, could you comp my resort fees? He said, well, unfortunately, no, I can't. He says, it's worth a shot, though. So upon checking out, there's really nothing they can do, I don't think, because they already have you. So why? You know, why uh, do that unless they're really thirsty for money? Maybe if I would have gave him 20 he would have done it, but I think because he was new. So again, if you want to get your resort fees comped as well, um, give them the 20 and ask for it, or try for 50 and be like, uh, could you also uh, uh, comp my resort fees for the week? You know, at $22 a day resort fee at the Monte Carlo, it's worth it. And so remember that upon checking in, that resort fees are uh, not included, and that's an additional at the Monte Carlo, $22 a day. Thanks for watching, guys. And watch my uh, Luxor. I have a video of the Luxor, and that $20 trick turned out a lot better than the Monte Carlo. Thanks a lot, guys.